Hey guys, it's me, Tiana Jones, also known as Callie Faye. And I'm here today with the All Lives Do Exist Sustainable Development World Peace Summit 2022. And we have people from all over the world who are speaking on how to find solutions. So now we're gonna show Job Okello's video that he sent us for today. This morning, I landed on a poster with one of the most powerful yet painful statements I've ever come across in my life. I challenge every ear, every mind, and every person to pay utmost attention to the statement. The poster depicts the earth bleeding with humans. The earth made this painful statement to humans. Dear humans, if you don't destroy me, I will give you shelter, water, food, and oxygen. What a sad statement. What a painful statement. What a touching statement. The great Mahatma Gandhi was right in his observation that earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. Because of our greed, we are destroying the earth. Because of our greed, the earth will not be able to meet our needs. Because of our greed, we will perish. The UN says forests cover over 30% of the earth's surface and in addition to providing food, security and shelter, forests are key to combating climate change and protecting biodiversity and the homes of the indigenous population. 13 million hectares of forests are being lost every year while the persistent degradation of dry lands has led to the desertification of 3.6 billion hectares. I didn't say million. 3.6 billion hectares. Sustainable Development Goal number 15 pledges to protect, restore, and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification, and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. The Sustainable Development Goals Report 2021 reports that forests cover 4.1 billion hectares of land. They have regulate the water cycle, mitigate climate change, and are a direct source of food, income, shelter, and energy for some 1.6 billion people. The proportion of forest area fell from 31.9% of the world's total land area in 2000 to 31.2% in 2020, a net loss of almost 100 million hectares. The rate of forest loss has increased in Southeastern Asia and Africa, and also in the least developed countries, landlocked developing countries, and the small island developing states, mostly due to the conversion of forests to agricultural land. The number of established alien species is expected to increase by 36% between 2005 and 2050. Human activities are causing biodiversity to decline faster than at any other time in human history. The Red List Index of the International Union for Conservation of Nature, which monitors the overall extinction risk for various species, shows a 10% decline since 1993. The main drivers of species loss are agricultural and urban development and sustainable harvesting through hunting, fishing, trapping and logging and invasive alien species. Forests are being cut down, biological diversity is declining and terrestrial ecosystems are being degraded at alarming rates with profound consequences for human survival and well-being. Land degradation now affects one-fifth of the earth land area. Wildlife trafficking threatens human health, economic development, and security through the spread of zoonotic diseases. Why do we abuse what our lives depend on? Why do we misuse what sustains us? Why do we destroy what we should all protect, preserve, and conserve? Aldo Leopold was correct when he said, we abuse land because we regard it as a commodity belonging to us. When we see land as a community to which we belong, we may begin to use it with love and respect. Yes, Aldo was, is, and forever shall be. Right. Terrestrial ecosystems provide a series of goods, raw materials for construction and energy, food, and a series of ecosystem services, including the capture of carbon, maintenance of soil quality, provision of habitat for biodiversity, maintenance of water quality, as well as regulation of water flow and erosion control, therefore contributing to reduce the risk of natural disasters, such as floods and landslides regulate climate and maintain the productivity of agricultural systems, 
Maintaining those ecosystems greatly supports climate change mitigation and adaptation efforts. In the words of Franklin D. Roosevelt, a nation that destroys its soils destroys itself. Forests are the lungs of our land, purifying the air and giving fresh strength to our people. What a leadership statement. Today I have many wonders about how we use the earth. Yes, many wonders have I today. I wonder when we will properly take care of the earth so that it can properly take care of us. I wonder when we shall have and properly implement serious critical legislation focused on the environment in all countries. I wonder when our governments will properly ensure the conservation, restoration and sustainable use of terrestrial and inland freshwater ecosystems and their services, in particular forests, wetlands, mountains and dry land. I wonder when we will properly promote the implementation of sustainable management of all types of forests, halt deforestation, restore degraded forests and substantially increase afforestation and reforestation globally. I wonder when we will combat desertification, restore degraded land and soil, including land affected by desertification, drought and floods, and strive to achieve a land degradation neutral world. I wonder when we will properly ensure the conservation of mountain ecosystems, including their biodiversity, to enhance their capacity to provide benefits that are essential for sustainable development. I wonder when we will seriously take urgent and significant action to reduce the degradation of natural habitats and halt the loss of biodiversity and protect and prevent the extinction of threatened species. I wonder when we will properly promote fair and equitable sharing of the benefits arising from the utilization of genetic resources and promote appropriate access to such resources. I wonder when we will seriously take urgent action to end poaching and trafficking of protected species of flora and fauna and address both demand and supply of illegal wildlife products. I wonder when we will have in place and implement serious measures to prevent the introduction and significantly reduce the impact of invasive alien species on land and water ecosystems and control or eradicate the priority species. I wonder when we will fully integrate ecosystem and biodiversity values into local, national and international planning, development processes, poverty reduction strategies and accounts. I wonder when we will properly mobilize and significantly increase financial resources from all sources to conserve, protect, and sustainably use biodiversity and ecosystems in all countries. I wonder when we will properly mobilize significant resources from all sources and at all levels to finance sustainable forest management and provide adequate incentives to developing countries to advance such management, including for conservation and deforestation. I wonder when we will properly enhance global support for efforts to combat poaching and trafficking of protected species, including by increasing the capacity of local communities to pursue sustainable livelihood opportunities. I wonder when we will properly educate the masses on the sustainable use of land. I wonder when our schools will properly teach all our learners about the need and urgency to conserve, protect, and preserve life on land. I wonder when we will all take complete responsibility and play our respective roles to protect the planet. I wonder when we will properly measure, manage and mitigate impacts on ecosystems and natural resources. I wonder when we will properly scale up best practices for land use, planning and management. I wonder when we will properly invest in natural infrastructure as a cost competitive alternative to grey infrastructure. I wonder when we will properly finance the restoration of degraded land for production and conservation purposes. I wonder when we will properly support and apply landscape approaches based on multi-stakeholder dialogue and collaborative action to overcome social and environmental fracture lines in landscapes facing deforestation and land and ecosystem degradation in all countries in the world. I wonder when we will fully commit to and implement responsible sourcing practices beyond compliance, applying environmental and social safeguards for all raw materials and commodities in the world. I wonder when we will properly expand markets for responsible forest products and thereby support sustainable forest management. I wonder when we will properly foster product and technology innovation to optimize resource efficiency, reduce impacts on, on ecosystems and lower carbon emissions in all countries. I wonder when we will properly scale up industrial reuse of water and support watershed protection programs. I wonder when we will seriously fight to eradicate corruption. Corruption, corruption, corruption. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder when we will seriously fight to eradicate corruption, especially in Africa, 
so that the resources meant for protecting, conserving, and preserving the earth are not misused. I wonder when governments will stop aiding environmental degradation, especially in Africa. I wonder why I have many wonders today about the earth. I wonder why I cannot get proper answers to the many wonders. I wonder why I cannot be answered. Out of his wisdom, knowledge, and intelligence, Henry David Thoreau posed a powerful rhetorical and philosophical question that we must pay attention to. He asked, what is the use of a fine house if you haven't got a tolerable planet to put it on? Who has the answer to that question? How can we answer that question? Who will answer that question? I wonder when that question will be properly, practically, and seriously answered. We will not answer that question unless we change the status quo on the planet today. We must always remember the wise observation of the great Albert Einstein. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Today we need a radical mindset change to address the crisis we face in the world today. We must save the trees. We must save the forest. We must save the wildlife. We must save the water bodies. We must save the earth. We must keep the ocean blue. We must keep the planet green. We must keep the animals safe. Behold, the trees, forests, wildlife, water bodies, and earth are crying, weeping, and wailing loudly, begging humans, please don't destroy us. Protect us so that we protect you. I wonder how we shall respond to the cry. Aldo Leopold offered a very wise counsel to humanity regarding land use. He said, harmony with the land is like harmony with a friend. You cannot cherish his right hand and chop off his left. That is to say, you cannot love game and hate predators. You cannot conserve the waters and hate the ranges. You cannot build a forest and mine the farm. The land is one organism. What a statement. I wonder what we will tell our children tomorrow when they ask us why we destroyed the planet. I wonder what we will tell our children tomorrow when they ask us why we destroyed the land. I wonder. What we will tell our children tomorrow when they ask us why we did not conserve the water bodies. I wonder what we will tell our children tomorrow when they ask us why we did not conserve life below water and life on land. I wonder what we will tell our children tomorrow when they ask us why we never properly took it upon ourselves to conserve, protect, and preserve the planet Earth. Why are we destroying the Earth? Why has greed enslaved us is the economy more important than the environment why is capitalism driving us to destroy the earth can the economy ever survive without the environment can we have sustainable economies when we don't have sustainable environment is it possible to have vibrant economies when we don't have vibrant environment can we have powerful economies when we don't have powerful environments dr guy mcpherson challenged humanity when he said, if you really think the economy is more important than the environment, try holding your breath whilst you count your money. I wonder who will listen to Dr. Guy. I wonder who will pay attention to this powerful statement. I wonder who will act on this statement. Our planet is our home. May we save the earth now. Now, 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 now. May we save the earth now so that we don't go under it soon. May we look after the land so that the land can look after us. May we not destroy the land so that it doesn't destroy us. May we all hold ourselves accountable for our actions so that we can protect, preserve, and conserve the earth now. We must always remember that as the Native American proverb says, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. What kind of earth will we hand over to our children? Every moment of your life is an opportunity for you to make a big difference in the world. It is up to you to decide what kind of difference you want to make in the world. What difference will you make in the world? I spoke these words today for God and humanity. Amen. Wow, that was powerful. That was powerful, guys. Wow.